What is going on everybody? I hope everybody is doing okay with plenty of health. Today I've got a new tool to make videos for my YouTube channel. I have bought a new laptop that I wanted to open with you guys because I haven't yet opened it. And in case there are any surprises inside the box, at least I will be recording it. So let's open it. Let's see what is inside the box. I'm not going to waste any time speaking about uh, how tough the box is or the components because there are many other better, better videos on YouTube about this specific laptop. I bought the 16 gigs of memory version with a one terabyte SSD inside. So if you want more information about how uh, about the specs, uh, there are better videos on YouTube. What I want to do with this video is how does it compare to my uh, older PC using Vegas Pro for video editing. So inside this laptop there is no uh, graphics card and uh, my, my old laptop is getting really old. It's uh, struggling to make 4K video and that's why I, I bought this one. Let's do something very pleasant. Nice! So the next steps will be to install everything, configure everything. Uh, it should have Windows 11 installed. Then once I have all my software installed, uh, I will make a comparison uh, with my previous laptop. So see you in a click. All right, everyone. It's been, uh, I think, more than a month that I've unboxed uh, the, the LG Gram. This is the setup that I have uh, in my, my office. So I have a 27 inch screen on the left, nothing fancy, uh, full HD, and then on the right I have the, the LG Gram. Everything is just uh, next to, to my guitars, where I usually play or where I work. For basic tasks, the LG it's really, really great, you know, with Windows 11 and all this stuff. SSD, it's really quick. Uh, let, let us just see how long it takes from the moment I push the button until I'm fully logged in, you see it's quite quick. Uh, but the main point of this video is to show how the LG uh, behaves uh, when video editing with Vegas Pro. Okay, so you see it's really, really quick. So I've loaded up my recent project in which I show how I wrapped my base uh, using vinyl. Inside I had uh, around four hours of, uh, of footage. The original video is uh, 4K. I'm shooting with my Samsung uh, S8 Plus. Nothing fancy. So usually what I do is I, I leave the project on the left. So I work on the left and on the right on the screen of the, of the LG Gram, I, I visualize, I, I display the video itself. And in the project, I, of course, I cropped everything. Uh, let me choose one section here to show. I don't know if you can see the small lines here. So I, I I cropped and then I, uh, I stretched down and now I have from the four hours I made a 48 minute long video with uh, some audio that I added, some songs, uh, some, uh, some texts. So here I have some texts, some uh, transparency colors. So I added many things and it became a 48 minute long video. Okay. On the, on the preview I have the, the quarter quality. If I go here on the preview, I have automatic, full quality, half quality, quarter quality. Okay, so I'm set to quarter. And on the original project, if I hit play, so the system is processing the, the stretch uh, real time. It's also adding the text. So let's, let's go to a part where we have the text. Camera. Like that, the transparency loads up, the text loads up, and the original footage is uh, stretched down. So it plays, it plays nicely. Okay. If I go to half, I will, I will hit stop, change the quality of the preview, and then hit play. So half quality.
guy looks okay. If I go to another section, you see when I switch, uh, it's almost immediate. There's no, no lag uh, when we click somewhere in the timeline. So if I go to full quality, you see that the preview changes. So let's hit play. And I can, I can see we are struggling here below. Uh, I will try to make a zoom on it right in the middle of the screen. Uh, the frame counter is struggling to keep up. So when we see the points, we are losing many, many, many frames. So let me switch back to half to see if we can have the same issues with the counter. It's struggling from time to time, but not as much as before. Huh? Well, it's struggling a lot. <laughs> I'm being generous. Now I'm going to go back to a quarter quality. And let's see the counter. So it plays, it plays nicely. Sometimes it stops. Sometimes it's, uh, it's struggling as well. Alright, so this is working with uh, raw footage, the files that come directly out of the phone. When I try to render that uh, in 4K, the same, uh, the same settings as the input files, uh, I don't know if it's Vegas or if it's the computer, it just couldn't do it. The most that it could render in one shot was around 60% uh, or sometimes it crashed, Vegas crashed uh, around 3 or 4%, 15, so it's very random. What I had to do is to, I had to split this, uh, this render process in uh, 9 or 10 parts, around 4 or 5 minutes per, uh, per render. And then I added all of these parts together in a new project. And that's what I'm going to show now. All right, so this is the project that I rendered with, uh, let's see how many. So I had to render the project in 10 parts to be able to get an output file with the same quality as the input file, 4K, 30 frames per second. Okay. And then I put all of these parts together in a new project. So there are no special effects here. We just have audio and video. I have my nine part project here from the original uh, footage. And let's see how the preview works this time. So I still have the, the quarter quality. Let's hit play and let's see if we lose frames. So it doesn't seem to lose frames. Yeah, it goes, goes nicely with the quarter quality. Of course, there are no stretching down, there are no texts, no transparencies to deal with. So it's just displaying the, the, the video that I rendered from the original project. So it works nicely. So let's stop and switch to full quality. Now I hit play. Same, the same for me. No missing frames. So does it work? Is the LG Gram good enough for 4K editing using Vegas Pro? So let's see the next session of the video to answer that question. So now I have to render this project, right? So I have my nine parts, 4K 30 frames per second, and I want to make a one unique video 48 minutes long. So when I try to render all of that in one shot, it just doesn't work. It's impossible to render this file in one unique MP4 file. I tried several uh, several encoders, uh, QSV, not QSV, tried changing the encoding mode. I tried using different templates. I tried many, many different things. Uh, the only thing that uh, allowed me to, to render this in one file is to reduce the resolution. So I went from 2160p to 3290 by 1850. So I had to, to reduce by 15% the resolution of the output file uh, to allow Vegas to finish the rendition in one shot. So based on that, I'm very, very frustrated with this, uh, with this laptop. Maybe it's not even the laptop, maybe it's Vegas that uh, is crashing. I don't know why. I downloaded the software to monitor the temperature uh, and the resources in, the, in real time. And usually when I'm rendering the, this project or the original project with the, the effects and so on, I was around 67, 65% of, uh, of RAM from the 16 gigs that I have. The temperature, once the, the fan hits, stays around 80 degrees. Uh, the processor stays 
around 100%, so the processor is the bottleneck of this laptop. It doesn't have a graphics card, a dedicated graphics card. Uh, the graphics card is not at all used because I don't have many effects going on. So in conclusion, this laptop, the LG Gram, is not at all adapted to 4K editing. And as soon as you start adding special effects, stacking up 4K videos, and trying to render long 4K video files, it just doesn't work. It's not adapted to that. My previous laptop was an ASUS ROG 752. Uh, it was not powerful, uh, but it got a job done. I could do many, many things with it. Even if it was low, it just did it. It never crashed uh, like the LG Gram is crashing on me. I hope uh, this video is useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to help me get to 1000 subscribers so I can give away my, my base. And thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.